We're down on the show floor at Huawei's MBBF 2019. Delighted to be joined by Olaf Swanti. Olaf, of course, is the CEO of Sunrise. Olaf, welcome. Hi, right, thank you. It's been a huge year for Sunrise this year. Uh, you yeah. became the first European operator to launch 5G earlier this year. Tell us, um, what progress have you made so far in terms of deploying 5G across the country, Ola? Well, our focus in Switzerland is a little bit different from other markets. We have focused on rural areas because in those areas there is no FTTH and there's generally a terrible internet. When you think of big European countries, you know, economic powerhouses, you think of Germany, the UK, not necessarily Switzerland. So, yeah. so why was Switzerland first, do you think? I mean, what, it, was it obviously very important for Sunrise to be first in Europe? I think it's a combination of both. I mean, Switzerland is a country that prides itself on innovation and being ahead of the curve uh, in many areas. Take the healthcare, pharmaceuticals, education. So in telecommunications, it's no different. Uh, the second reason is we were ready with 4G already. A lot of countries still have homework to do on 4G. We've got 96% geography coverage. That's an important point. There must have been challenges. I mean, can you kind of give us a, an insight into some of the challenges you faced in being that pioneer in 5G? Yeah, I mean, the biggest challenge was the public sentiment. You know, with 2G, 3G, 4G, we have seen people tying themselves to antennas and say, you know, you can't upgrade these. With 5G, the fake news in the social media has been very, very heavy. And also because we were number one, we probably attracted more of that from abroad and from in the country. So that was hard because that had a ripple effect on the permits. And it is hard in Switzerland to get the permits to roll out. And talking of that deployment, I mean, Switzerland is a fascinating geography. Um, tell us about some of the maybe the unusual places you've deployed 5G. <laughs> Mountains, for example? Well, I mean, we had, you know, my first customer in 5G was a 5G pioneer in Arga, which is a rural area. Beautiful, it's hilly. And it was fantastic because I, I met the customer. And for the first time, he had a fantastic internet. He never had a great internet. We, you and I are used to that. That was just beautiful to see. We took pictures of the area, fantastic. The other one, which of course is very scenic, is we were the first to install a 5G capable network in a ski resort. That was another really beautiful implementation. So Olaf, you were the first in Europe, first in Switzerland, obviously. Where do you go from here? I mean, what, what can we expect from Sunrise in 2020 when it comes to 5G? Well, we want to move as quickly as possible to further roll out. Uh, we want to extend the number of applications. We launched the Innovation Lab to allow Swiss entrepreneurs to test their applications. And I think it will come to that. I mean, rollout and application development is very important because that will drive the adoption of 5G across the industry. Olaf, it's been great getting your thoughts. Uh, congratulations on the launch and we look forward to uh, finding out what the future holds. Thank you very much. Thank you.